welcome back to the vlog i'm using my mic for the first time for this video so let's see how it goes but today we are going to do some prepping for vacation because i literally leave in like six days i still have time but i wanted to do some prep things and the first thing i wanted to do is my nails i'm gonna do my fingernails as well as my toenails that's what we're doing this this is what this video is going to consist of i have a lot of things to do and I have six days to do them. I feel like I procrastinate when it comes to prepping for vacation for whatever reason. I'm like, eh, I got everything. And then once it comes down to it, I'm just like, oh my God, I need this, I need that. But the thing about packing and getting ready is that you can always get it when you're there. It's not even a big deal, but for some reason I really panic if I forget something. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot this. And then I make a big deal out of it, but I can literally buy it there, so. Anyway, we're going to start off with nails because I got a drill, yeah, a little cordless nail drill to really like get my nails more professional. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, but this is it and it has everything that you could possibly need for a nail drill and I used it a little bit to do the underside of my nails. These nails are two weeks old so far. They're still doing good, but I want a new set for my nails or for my vacation so I can look really, really cute. Okay, we need a brand new set. So we're going to do these again. I'm going to soak them off and I'm going to take off the nail polish of my toenails and do those, which I don't know if I'll film any of it, but I won't film my dogs. Okay, you don't get to see those for free. So it's just going to be my nails that I'll probably film a little bit of how I do them. But other than that, let's stop talking okay because it's been two minutes and 45 seconds that i've been talking oh and i really messed up my eyebrows okay i was trying to do them really quickly they look ugly okay i finished doing my toenails you get a five second view of them for free okay that's it it's 8 a.m the next morning you guys i am so friggin tired I didn't go to sleep until like 2 a.m. because, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have started the, like, process of getting ready so late at night because that's all I was thinking about the rest of the night. I was like, what do I need again? I still need more containers for my toiletries and stuff. And then I was going to buy a couple of other things. And I was trying to plan outfits in my head because I bought so m many clothes to the point where I forgot what I bought because I was like, I was like, oh, when am I gonna wear that? Because the thing is that I have two trips. I have the Florida trip and then somewhere else. That's a secret for now. I think you guys might be able to guess, but I have two trips. So I bought clothes for intending just to kind of separate everything out and be like, okay, I'll take this to Florida. I'll take this to the other place, yada, yada, yada. So. Now I'm left with all these clothes that I'm just trying to put together and I have to do my workout right now and later on I'll do my nails but I don't want this video to be too long because I also have to include the packing portion. Ugh, I'm so tired. But anyway, I'm going to do my workout and then I'll catch up with you guys again once I figure my shit out. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. So, squeaky ass fucking floor. Just wanted to show you guys a few things that I am most likely bringing. I don't know. I just have to do this quickly because I gotta go work soon. This is my workout food. Yeah, I know, it's cute. I got so much shit and I haven't unpacked any of it. Like I have, like I did like a unbox with me. I don't know what to call it. And I did that for TikTok, and then I put them all back in the bag, and I never opened it again. But I want to show you a couple of dresses that I might be bringing, because I one of the dresses I took to one of my other trips that I didn't get any good pictures in it. So, you know, if you did see me wearing it before, mind your business. But this is the dress, a little flowery dress here. It's like a little strap moment. I don't even know what I'm saying. It ties in the back like a little bow, super long maxi dress you know the vibes i really love maxi dresses recently i just like flowy little dresses that i can be very comfortable in so that's one of the dresses and 
The other one is this blue one from, where did I get this? Ross, yes. I think I showed it somewhere in my other video already, but this is the dress here. It's this really pretty blue. Again, a maxi moment. I love the long dresses. This one, I am gonna need some support for the girlies because I tried it on and my boobs look like two pancakes, so. Still really cute, and this one was only like $15. That's crazy though. For Ross prices, that's crazy. And this one here, it's this little knitted top. Oh my God, it's so cute. Brandon has a similar one, but it's like a cream color. This is like a green color. So we're gonna be like matching if he brings it. This cover up, I think I can bring it to both because I mean, who's gonna tell me that I've already worn it? Like it's a cover up girl. Long sleeve, wide sleeve. I love that for her. Yeah, I think I'll wear this over some of my bikinis. Look, girl, I did not make it to my bikini body, yaddy, yaddy. But I tried my best. So we're just gonna embrace our body and be okay with how it looks like right now in a bikini. It is what it is. I am gonna bring my one piece that I already wore to Hawaii. And it's like the yellow flower, the yellow and blue flowery print one. That one is so, so cute. I got. A compliment I was gonna say I got so many compliments I got one compliment while I was walking on the street of white kiki wearing it some girl was like oh my god I love your bathing suit and I was like oh my god thank you so cute I love that bathing suit maybe I should bring this little shirt is this giving Florida vibes look at how cute this little detail is the little flowers on it so cute I do have some options for shorts I just don't I have to try these on again to see if they still fit because your girl gained another extra five pounds from the last time I wore these. So who knows if they'll fit. But these two are my favorite. These two are so cute. I love these. So I don't know which one I'll bring. I'm gonna have to try them on as I said because she a little thick. She a little bit thicker than she was before. And then I also got this hair clip. It's so cute, it's this little shell. I actually saw a clip like this at J. Crew. And it was like $15. And I was like, for a fucking hair clip? Got me fucked up. So I didn't get it. And then I found this one on Shein. I know that there's a lot of controversy with Shein because of the way that it's manufactured. And it's just in my price range. There's like a lot of things that I can't afford like for, from other companies. And I don't even know if they're any more ethically sourced. So I don't know. I don't buy stuff often and then I try to keep stuff unless you know it's really worn out I try to give it donate it to shelters and stuff like that I have to get too deep but it is what it is I also got this really really cutie dress from Halara oh my god it'd be so fun if I found a place to play pickleball in Florida because this dress screams pickleball girly moment look at this <gasps> She's so cute. So they sent me this as a PR package from Halara, which was like, ah. it was so crazy. I couldn't believe it. I got an email sent to me and they were like, we want to send you a little, no, we want to send you a little PR package to collaborate with us. And I was like, yes, please. I had to go on their website and like send them an email and be like, is this legit? Because I don't want to get scammed. They said, yes, it's legit. And then they sent over three different dresses that I got to pick out. And this one was one of them. So cute. Definitely think I'm gonna bring this one because it's like athletic wear and it's super comfortable. So definitely bringing this one. So this other set from Shein that I got last time, I do not know what's going on with the elastic here. But this is it, fringy at the bottom. So cute. There's that. And that's the skirt part. This is the top part. I probably need to wear um, Spanx under it, even though it has built in undies or like shorts, whatever you want to call it. It has them built in. It's just like this is the material that it is. It's like very thin and stretching. And I need some tummy control because I know last time I was 10 pounds down. And even then, I was kind of like, oh, my tummy does not look cute in that. And I was like on the edge, <sighs> on the brink of crying. <laughs> I was like, I look so fat. I look so ugly. 
And I need to get rid of that mentality because once summer comes, in, once summer comes around, I'm gonna need to gain that confidence to just wear whatever I want without thinking about how I don't look like all these other girls that I see on Instagram. I'm working on it, I really am. I just have been in a slump right now where I am comparing myself to everybody because I've been trying to do this like more natural look for myself. I like don't like gliming up that much anymore. And it's been really hard to get into that because I don't think I look good without makeup. I look okay, but I don't think I look pretty. But that's just something I need to fix up here because I need to be nicer to myself, which I have a really hard time doing. And when did this become a TED talk? I don't know. All right, when I get home though, I'm gonna try to pack some stuff or maybe tomorrow. I don't know because tonight I have to go um, take some stuff to my tax guy so I don't think I'll have time depending on how long that takes and I'm gonna do my nails today as I told you guys earlier and so I'll show some clips of that if I can I forgot to mention that I do have a list from when I went to Hawaii for packing I'm gonna just keep this same list I'm just gonna add a few more things obviously take off some of them because these I also used for when I went to Disneyland <laughs> in California, so I'm gonna have to take some of these out just so I can remember stuff to bring. And just a little tip if you are bad at remembering things. Alright guys, a very very long time later, I finally finished doing my nails. It's almost time for me to go home. This is what they turned out like. I She's a nail tech. Just kidding. It's not the best nail paint job, um, nail polish. I don't know what you call this. And the stickers are kind of lifting in some areas. And I don't know what to do about that. But I did the top coat and this is what they turned out like. So here's the other hand. These are the almond shape nails. As I said, not 100% perfect, but does the trick for vacation. Just a little update. I'll see you guys later to do some more packing at my house. All right, you guys, I am mostly all packed. I did film it for a TikTok or a reel, whatever, but I have mostly everything that I want to bring in the carry-on bag, and I still also have my backpack this is my backpack that i'm bringing as my personal item it opens up like a carry-on bag so super clutch for that it has a little cord that you can plug your portable charger in and it also has another little compartment in here for your shoes if you want to bring some extra shoes in there it has a little slide bag here but you can put your iPad in here, your Kindle if you have those, or you can put your laptop in here and mostly the cushion is gonna be whatever else you add in here. So if you add other clothes, that's how you're gonna keep your laptop protected. So I'm gonna just put a few things in this bag that I still need because I pretty much filled the suitcase or the carry-on to the broom with a lot of things that I was like, God damn, am I even gonna have enough days to wear all of this stuff? Probably not. I probably overpacked, but the thing with me is that I have to choose my outfits based on my mood, kind of. Like, I need to kind of feel the vibe out, like what we're doing, because Brennan and I don't have a set itinerary. We're just kind of going with the flow. It's gonna be very much chill vibes. We're gonna just do whatever we wanna do on every day, especially because it's a short vacation and we just kind of want to relax. I was debating on taking this dress now, the one that I had shown, this floral one, because I have two other dresses already it's like, I don't even know if I'm gonna need to bring this because maybe I could just throw it on on an evening or something. Uh, okay, I'm convincing myself to bring it now. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about the vibes, I'm like, okay, maybe that would be something that happened. And my two hats are gonna go in here. I got two little sunny hats. But anyway, most of my stuff in this bag, I think it's gonna be toiletries and my makeup, my tripod. And I think that's gonna be the only thing that's gonna fit in here after that. I, bought a lot, I brought a lot of the stuff that I've already worn for this trip because as I said, real casual vibes, real relaxing, like 
we're not trying to impress nobody here. I am bringing stuff that I want to just get pictures in. You know, life of a content creator. I said content. <laughs> okay, enough. Yeah, toiletries mostly in this bag. Has like one of these little like plasticky bags in here. I'm guessing this would be a good spot to put your toiletries in because if it's if anything spills, this is gonna be clutch because it's not gonna get on anything. It's not gonna seep through into the regular material. So I love that. Other than that, I think that's all I need to pack in here. Oh, I do need to grab my Converse because I do wanna bring those. No, actually no, because I'm already gonna be wearing my Adidas Ultra Boost, so I don't need another pair of sneakers. I think just with that's fine. I think I might bring my cute sandals, so I think those are gonna go here. I usually take these in this shin bag that I recycled by using it for these shoes just so they didn't touch my other clothes because I didn't have a pouch like this. This is like an elevation. I don't know if this bad boy, this big boy is gonna fit on the side of this. It looks kind of small. Looks rather small. Uh. <laughs> um, I mean, it fits like not well, especially if I'm not gonna have water in it. Like, what if it just flies off? Oh, actually, that kind of works. Oh my god, this shit's already heavy, and I don't even have that many things in it. That's it for right now, muchachos. It's been almost 20 minutes of me blabbering. This vlog might, may or may not be long. I have no clue. We'll see in the future when I'm editing. All right, hi guys, it is now Monday, so it's a different day. I don't remember exactly where I left off. I think I was letting you guys know that I was waiting on my little containers for my toiletries, which arrived on Friday, and I just didn't have time to fill them up and everything. But I have a few things that I need to put in these containers, so I'm not gonna be using all of them. I might just use a couple and then um, fit some of my other stuff that's already in travel size sizes these are the ones that i bought they have labels to put on them and they're these like little silicone kind of containers they come with little mini ones for like anything small you may need to put in there which i might put a little bit of my hawaiian um, after sun in i don't think i'm going to be able to fit much and then i also have some gel that i want to bring with me in case i want to do a little slick back moment you know this also comes with a little funnel so you can funnel stuff into the little openings for these containers see they're silicone so you can squeeze stuff out of there which is better than these ones these are the ones i bought from walmart a really long time ago and um you know they're a little bit cheaper cheaply made i have my copari or copery, I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is uh, my Sun Shield Body Glow. It has broad spectrum SPF 50, makes you look all oily and shiny for when you're tanning. These are way smaller than I expected, to be honest. And I don't know how much product I'm actually gonna be able to bring in these little tiny babies. Look at this. Let me see how much of this I can actually put in there. This is the Hawaiian Tropic thing I was telling you about. guys it's quite some time later um, I think I left off where I was finishing up packing some of my toiletries 
And now I am at Brandon's house again because we leave tomorrow morning. 5 a.m. or 5.30. I think we're going to wake up. So I am ending the vlog here for this packing slash prepping for vacation with me. I know I kind of did everything last minute. But I checked everything off of my list. So we got everything. I, I got everything that I need. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. And I'm really excited to vlog our trip and to share it with you guys. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you like the video because it really does help my channel out and follow me on my socials which will be right here that way you're also up to date like as it's actually happening and not later on because i'll be sharing like tiktoks and instagram reels and stories and all of that so make sure that you are following me on my socials and as i said subscribing to the channel with your notifications on so you don't miss when i post those vlogs coming up of our Florida trip okay <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a little uh, luggage emoji in your comment that way I know who stayed all the way to the end and if you did I really appreciate it love you so so much I'll see you in the next vlog bye Brandon's here too